This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Detailing, adding detail components, and annotation. Okay, picking up from where we left off. 2101. Okay, let's do a save as. This is going to be 2102, and this will be begin. Okay, and then we'll save as again, and we'll call this 2102 complete. So we're looking at detailing and annotation and components. Okay, let's scroll down to our sheets. So I'm going to go down to roof detail. I'm just going to take a little look at what we've worked on so far. So we made this roof detail. If I go to details on 104, we made this sort of general section through our addition. Okay, so that's leading us to the right page. Okay, so that's good. Now, I want to take care of a couple modeling issues before we continue. And the first one is something we've noticed here on the railing. So I'm just going to activate this view. Sometimes you just don't notice stuff until you start putting it onto sheets. So I'm going to get rid of these little pieces of dimensions that I was using. Then I'm going to click on this railing and I'm going to just edit the type baluster placement. I'm going to click edit and we're just going to say the base offset for this one. Okay, just for the posts, we're going to put it down a little bit. So we're going to say maybe minus four inches and just see if that takes us down far enough. Okay, and I'm going to do it with all of them. All right, and then we can say OK and OK. Good. Now, if I click on it, you can see that the end one did go down. But you know what? That would be buried inside of the stair, or it would be at least attached to the stair. So that way now we can see that the rails go all the way down. So that's a little bit of a fix there. OK, so as we go with our detailing, we're going to fix things here and there. So let's just go back to our roof detail, and we're going to start adding a little bit of componentry to this. Let's just right click and activate view. And this activating view, we're going to be doing a lot of this because we're working right on the views. Adding detail components, we're going to go to annotate, component, detail component. Let's click on load family. First of all, you have to go to the detail components folder, okay? Next, you have to go to wood and plastic. Then I'm going to go to wood framing. And then I'm going to go to nominal cut lumber section. Open that up. And we're going to bring in a, let's say a 1x6, 2x4, 2x6, 2x8, 2x10, 2x12. OK, and say OK to that. And now it's brought in all of those different sections. So there's a 1x6. And we can just hit the space bar, and we can flip it over if we want. And we can just add that right in. Now that's a 1x6. Why don't we try a 2x6? There we go. OK, so you can use the Align tool quite effectively. I just typed in AL and align that up. You can lock these detail components to lines and to your model components. Not really the most advisable thing to do, though. OK, so we've added that in. We really should have a door in here, so let's add in a door. Now, would we add that in as an annotation component? No. Or a detail component? No. So let's just deactivate the view, and let's add in our door. So we're going to go up to top of finished floor one, phase one, zoom in, and we're going to go to door. OK, don't really have much selection here for doors, so let's just load one in. We're going to go to doors, and let's pick something maybe glass. So I'll go to a single glass one, just simple. OK, and it'll load in a number of sizes for us. There we go. It even tags it as we add it in. I'm just going to delete the tag. OK, so then we click on that 36 by 84. Not bad, sure. And do we want that to swing out, or do we want that to swing in? OK, so we could have that swing in. Good, so now what's happened to our section? Now we can go back to our sheets and just get a good glimpse there. So now we can see that, yes, there is a door there. And if we also go to our roof detail, now there's a door there. So this is the kind of thing. The detail that I'm doing right now is sometimes referred to as a hybrid detail. It's combining the best of the model with the best of 2D information. So let's activate the view, and we can add a few more detail components. So maybe we want to bring this down here. I'm just going to copy this 
right there, and then rotate it by 90. And we're going to put a little header top. Okay, so we can align it to the inside, align it to there, click on it, and just copy it. Now, maybe these two, we want those to be 2 by 10. Okay, they align down. I'll just move those up. Want to just show a little bit of insulation right here. So we're going to go to Annotate Insulation. And we're just going to draw it right about there. Okay, we can click on that and change the width. So I could say just to fit it in that space, let's try one and a half inches, maybe two and a half, maybe two. Good, that fits. While we're on the topic of insulation, you can copy it, rotate it. Okay, we can just extend that out a little bit. Maybe we want this to be eight inches. Maybe we want it to be six inches. Of course, we can annotate this so we can put on things like spot slope. You want to keep this as live to the model as possible. I'm going to go with a triangle and drop that on. Hit escape. I'm going to click on that little symbol. We're going to make a new one. Edit type, duplicate. We'll call it slope three. Okay. And we're going to go down to the units format and just use a rise in 12 inches and say okay and okay. And we can also edit the type and call it stylus. Good. So that's reporting on the slope itself. What about some other things here? Like maybe we want to, like this right here, this insulation is sort of going up into the roof itself. We don't really want to show it that way. Well, this would be a good candidate here anyway for a join geometry. So if we click on modify join geometry, we can just click on that and then click on that. And you can see that it's as if we're trimming that insulation and finish back to there. Good. And then we can put on other things like just straight out notes. So if we go to annotate and then we go to text, we've got one called notes one. And let's just pick with an arrow. I'll pick out to there. Go with a caps lock. I could say asphalt shingles. Tar paper, half inch plywood sheathing. Okay, half inch plywood sheathing. Next, we'll put galvanized edge strip. Different locations have different specs. And then I could say wood rafters. See framing plan for sizing. Okay, now I'll just move this over. I'm just going to move my arrow. So you can see the arrow is kind of messed up here. Let's just reformat this. You know, I don't mind that for that side, but I'm going to just put the justification to the right hand side for this note. And again, this is sort of a standards thing that you have to deal with. You can just move that down. Okay, some people like to just keep everything aligned to one side. I mean, it really depends on your drafting convention. Okay, so you can put on some text dimensions of course so if i click on the line dimension i can go from let's say the face of the stud to the inside edge we can put a note for the soffit and so on but for now we're just getting the idea of how you can really get the best of both worlds both modeling and the 2d components for your detailing okay so that should be good for now let's just save what we've done we're going to go to View, Close, Hidden Windows. We can close that down.